The new budget means an extra $28 million for UN relief work in South Sudan. This is money that's going to the protracted relief and recovery operation. That aims to provide food assistance to 1.1 million people, mostly refugees, over the next six months. The World Food Programme estimates that around 3 million people have been displaced by the fighting. Around 1.2 million have fled the country, many of them into neighbouring Uganda. And on top of that, there are another 1.8 million people who've been displaced internally. People who've been forced from their homes but are still within South Sudan's borders. The protracted relief and recovery operation works alongside the emergency operation. That's a separate fund which will receive around $220 million over the next six months. And that will go towards providing life-saving food assistance to 3 million people. The WFP is also planning test convoys to see if roads that haven't been used during the rainy season are drivable and whether routes that have been previously inaccessible due to security threats are now safe enough to use once again. Even so, the WFP says that millions of people are still in need of help in South Sudan, with around 3.6 million facing acute food insecurity. Early this month, the UN's Food and Agricultural Organization warned that 31% of the population doesn't have enough to eat. It says in conflict areas, half of the harvests have been lost, increasing the risk of famine in those areas. Nick Harper, CCTV, New York.